Hello there, boys and girls. Welcome back to Scottish Geeks. We're back playing Among the Sleep. Last time we were left off, we were looking for owls, and nothing has really changed in that respect. Except for the strange, spooky, loud noises. Oh my god! I can't figure out if I'm asleep or awake or whatever. Is this like the kids' memories or something? Trying to make sense of stuff that's happening. I do kind of get the impression that there has been a divorce. And, uh... I hate that noise! Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep wandering along the roundabouts and swings and shoots and shit I fell over. But yes, it has been a while since I've played a game that kind of takes you into this sort of mind frame. I've maybe been thinking about this in the wrong light. Oh, no, that's locked. Okay. Still locked. I wonder if I can open it somehow. Yep. Uh, but I think I've been taking this the wrong way. I've been I've been thinking like an adult. Maybe I should start thinking as if you know, as if I'm a kid or something. That looks ominous. I wonder. No, I don't think a chance that it's gonna be the owls somewhere anyway. They're gonna be around some point. But uh, yeah. So if you take into account that this is meant to be from a two-year-old's perspective. Things like this can be freaky. I am so gonna sneeze. I can feel it coming on. Oh good! I got. Hey! See, I knew it. I knew I was gonna bloody sneeze. Oh my god! Yeah, sorry. Ah, uh, <laughs> anyway. But yeah, taking it from a two-year-old's perspective, this is quite freaky. You know, being in a swing park alone. But there is a total sense of abandonment going on here. You know, is he abandoned by his father or his mother? I mean, the mother appears to be quite loving, but there was that point where she lifted us up and said she would be sad if we hadn't enjoyed ourselves, which is a very passive-aggressive thing to say to a two-year-old. Because of course the two-year-old's going to be happy. Hello, Al, you freaky bastard. And yeah... Oh, uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying the multiplayer games we've been doing as well, just while I'm looking around. Is there more owls for some reason? Um, my uh, fellow YouTuber Danger Gerbil has decided to take a, a short break from his channel for just now, but he will continue to be doing the, the multiplayer stuff with me. So we'll just have to wait and see what goes on there. I really don't want to go down there. I really don't want to go down there. Oh, fuck it. Do you know what? One, two, three, wee! Whoa! Oh, good! I'm stuck. I am hugging Teddy. Teddy's been very quiet, though. There's all these pictures of monsters. I hope so, too. See, that's what makes me think there's some sort of an abandonment thing going on. Is the mother real, or was that a nanny or something? I don't know. Maybe I was adopted. Tell. There's definitely something going on in, in regards to like the divorce or something because the father was nowhere to be seen. The place is a complete mess, you know. All right, we need to go that way. So we're gonna have to go and get this uh, this L. Well, this looks safe, doesn't it? Yeah. Who would have this kind of place at a kids' play park? I mean, honestly. And you look like you're drilling blood, mate. Ah. Okay, I well, we need to go slightly further up. Oh, getting the heebie-jeebies. Remember guys, if you are enjoying my playthroughs, please do leave a comment. I really enjoy getting them. Alright, remember to subscribe. We are so close to 2,000 subscribers in such a short amount of time. I am so chuffed. I mean, you guys are awesome. You really, truly are. I Well, I wouldn't be who I am on this channel without you guys. That's a lie, I would be, I'd still be me, but I do appreciate everything you guys do. So, pardon me, is that enough owls? Have we got all the owls? I can't remember. It was only yesterday and I can't remember how many bloody owls I've got. Although, I never thought that would be something that I would say. Hmm, did I have enough owls yesterday? Do I need one more? Who can say? Well, I've got two new ones anyway. Oh, I need one more. Let's let's see if that's enough anyway. We should be able to get up there, shouldn't we? Shouldn't be too hard. I mean, I'm two years old. I'm not that heavy. 
Oh dear God, is that laughing? Do you know what that laugh reminds me of? You know like if you're washing dishes and you squeak your finger along it? <laughs> what the hell? But yes. Is there a way up this tower? There is a way up this tower. I just can't quite figure it out. So there must be somewhere I need to go, it's somewhere I haven't been yet. Can we go back up here? Maybe we missed an owl up there. No, we can't. Ooh, a sandbox! I used to hate sandboxes when I was a kid. I, used to th I saw Jaws quite young, and for some reason I used to think there'd be a shark in a sandbox. Don't ask me why. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I don't want to be in there. Freaks me out. A lot of the imagery in this actually does remind me of, of things I used to be scared of when I was a kid before the whole incident happened. But that's not for here and now. Here and now is for the game. So we just need to find out where the other owls are. Owl, anyway, I think there's one. And then I'm going to put it on by rotating it. I'm going to row, row, rotate my owl. Row, row, rotate the owl. Row, row, rotate the owl. Rotate your owl for science. For those of you who don't know Weeble, I'll go and check that out. Weeble's awesome. I like Weeble. Ooh, a lighty place I have probably not explored yet. It's hard to tell. There's so much going on with so much nightmarish imagery. I mean, everything to a kid can be either wondrous or terrifying. Okay. Roundabout doesn't go roundabout. Okay, that's uh. The hell is that? It's hanging things, my god. Oh, hang on. Uh, right, okay. Handy little chalk drawing. Up we go. I really don't like the noises. Everything just is just so exaggerated in this game. I can see why this would be awesome in the Oculus Rift, to be honest with you. But I don't have one yet! I was never given a developer version of the Oculus Rift. What the hell's going on? Somebody's upset. Well, all the owls are there anyway, watching over us. Yeah. There is something horrible happening in this game. Oh my god, that's horrible. We don't like that. No. 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 Teddy bear, come back. Teddy bear, come back. Thank you, teddy bear. Something awful must have happened to this kid. I mean, all joking aside, I know I joke about when I'm playing games, but... You kind of wonder... When people write scripts, they're usually drawn past experiences and things like that to help them. And something horrible must have happened. Maybe not horrible to us as adults, but possibly horrible to the point where it would traumatise a child to the point where this nightmarish world is his dreamland. And in actual fact, um, my second in command, Shari, uh, Industrial Angel, actually mentioned this has a lot of Alice Madness Returns about it in regards to your collecting memories in a nightmare world. A place that you escape to in your own mind. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Well, at least the laughter started again, because we appear to be somewhere where adults can't reach. You see, that's, that's, that seems to be the theme. When you're in a place that adults can't get to you, everything's happy-ish. It's light. But when we're outside, it's dark. Even when we're up, the further away we get from the ground, the more light we get. But there seems to be this underlying theme of finding the, your mother's the memories from your mother, like the good memories, as if something bad happened with the mum that you want to try and block out. And even as a child, children do do that. Okay, let's go bear. We're okay. See, we're in a nice bridge. We're safe up here, you see? We're away from the ground. We're crawling to a happier place. Hello. 
<laughs> All right then, one more time. But that's it. Okay. Oh, the music box, yay. Why do I get the feeling it's not? Oh, oh my god! Finally. That's so cool. Getting closer. We're on a xylophone bridge. Oh, I love that. I wonder if I could play the theme tune for EastEnders. I just need to find the right note. Nah, I can't be asked. We'd, we'd need to be able to jump to do that. That's probably. I love that. What is that again? Yay! I want a xylophone bridge. I want a xylophone bridge. I'll try it. With the broken stuff, the broken bottles, and everything, and there's only one other person in the house, which is the mother. So there's either one of three things happening. One. Um, the father's trying to we kidnap the kid, but that wouldn't explain why the crib was knocked over. I didn't believe in evil before all this. Two, someone else is trying to break no, into the house, so sure. or three. We have to find I get this to horrible save. feeling that the find mother is possibly no mother. schizophrenic. Oh, thanks, Teddy. You just smacked me in the face with the door, she you must dick. Be so worried about you. She must be, but, but don't why be am I afraid? You and me will work this all out together. I know we will. Well, you know the ropes by now. I, I just get this feeling the, mom, the mother's maybe schizophrenic or, or has some sort of mental problem that's making her scare the child. Maybe she's bipolar, possibly, you know, really, really happy and loving one minute and flip it down depressed the next. Because I, th I, I thought it was steam there. It sounds like a scream. Come on, Teddy, open the door for me. Yes, she sounds clearer now, don't you think? Whoa. I do. Come on, we have no time to lose. Come on, Teddy. Watch your step. Very, very hard to make sense of what's going on in this game, but I am enjoying the journey immensely. I really am. I really, truly am. I, I, I know I've been kind of joking the last couple of episodes. And I'm sorry I'm being kind of serious this one, uh, but I just get this feeling that it warrants a little bit more seriousness to it because I mean the game itself is fantastic so far. It's just, it's not scary, but it's. Tradi it's not traditionally scary, but like I said, it's things that would scare a child. I actually thought that would break. I wanted to break that. Moving on swiftly! Back to normal now. That seems to be some sort of thing made of rocks. What else have we got in here? Hello! 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 What is this place? I don't know. I think we should keep quiet. Why why are the trees made of rocks in here? Why is there a tree made of a rock? Pardon me. Hello? Am, am I in a tree house? Is this what a kid thinks of a tree house? I can't remember my childhood that well that I can remember what my imagination was like. I know what it's like now. It's definitely different, put it that way. Oh, the things in my mind, boys and girls. The things in my mind. They would terrify you. Right. Oh. Ooh, flashy thing, flashy thing. I always love the flashy things. My artwork has been framed. Okay. I'm piecing together a puzzle this time. So what is what is what is this? Those what is this? Things like memories. Maybe the next one is behind those roots. Quite possibly. Oh, it's a jigsaw puzzle. Okay. A very simple one. Let's put this together, shall we? Yeah, there's a pick over there. Oh, okay, so we've got to collect all the pieces of the puzzle in order to unlock the next memory. It's so psychoanalytic. 
Well, that music is very pretty. So we need to enter deeper into the subconscious of a two-year-old. There we go. What have we got out here? So we're outdoors now. Oh, good. Oh, God almighty. I'm getting sleepy. I'm not really. It's very warm today. Ooh, Greek. Well, that doesn't look pleasant. I don't think I want to go in there. Let's have a look. We can light it up. Stay away from the water. The water will destroy you. I've got a drawer here. I don't know what it's for. If I climb up it. It's probably nothing. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. Moving along. Oh, okay. Here we go. We'll go over this way. Simples. Kasplosh. Simples Kasplosh. No. Nope. Around here. Oh, a log. Okay. Everybody loves a log. There is a lot of odd stuff. The I don't know. I can't. I can't stress this enough. But the the sounds in this game really add to it. Is that a drawer in a tree? Bloody is as well. Yep, it's a daisy. Okay. Close that one off now. There we go. Up so easy, up we go. One more. One more. What the hell? That looks like intestines. I know it's supposed to be roots, but it looks like intestines. Do we need to go over there? Okay, shall we? We. Oh, no. No, that was wrong. Okay, let's go back up. I wonder where else we're meant to go. I looked up like that bit was you were able to jump on it, but I didn't quite make it. I could climb very well. Kids jump though. We should have a jump option. We should so have a jump option. Ooh, check that out. That looks awesome. It's a nasty tree monster. It's gonna chase us, isn't it? Well, let's find out, shall we, Teddy? You can protect me. And... What the hell was that? Fucking hell. Right, Teddy, if the tree monster tries to kill us, I'm throwing you in its face. Okay? Good. Say nothing if you agree with me, Teddy. Good, Teddy. Good. Have we got up here? No, we can't. Of course we can't. Right. Can we get through here? No. Where do we go then? Where, where are we going? Oh, okay, I see now. I see now. Take me a minute. Up the daisy. Up we go again. That's, that's good. What the hell is that all about, dude? <laughs> well, something fell in the water down there. So, I think we should avoid things like that. Ooh! A lot of watery imagery. A lot of it. Can we pull that? No. Nope. Because we're not allowed to touch fire pokers, obviously. Or the globe. Let's just keep going. What's this? There's a picture of a person walking upright. Okay, let's walk upright. Go along here. As long as we're holding Teddy, we should be fine. We can swim slightly. Good, good. At least we know we can swim slightly. That'll help for later on. Children are actually amazing swimmers when they're first born. That is freaky as fuck. That really was. Anything else we can get in here? Oh, we can't move that. Oh no, we can. Okay. 
Hello? Any puzzle pieces hiding in here? I used to have a little toy like that. It was a little pull along telephone. Kids' toys are weird. Do you know if you're if you're in your thirties, you'll probably have said this at some point in your life, where you look at kids' toys today and you always go, "Why didn't they have toys like that when I was a kid?" You know. But then we remember we had awesome toys. I had this cool thing. It was like a, a tank, and you programmed the top of it, and it would go whatever you told it to. That was awesome. And I was lucky enough to be one of the first proper gamers out there. I mean, my first ever sort of gaming system and my first ever computer was a Spectrum 48K, a uh, Sinclair ZX one. And uh, he said, my first ever game that I ever played was Nifty Lifty. It was awesome. You should look it up, actually. So, yes. Oh, okay, so we go down here. We. I like slides. Slides are fun. Is it me or did that sound like Teddy's voice? Arguing with the mother. Teddy. Maybe Teddy, representative of Daddy. Could be. But the voice is very similar. Right, let's get back and put this memory puzzle piece back in this uh, proper home. Okay. Whoa, whoa, shit! Okay. Right, so I, uh, <laughs> I missed the plank. Right. Let's try that again. Up we go. Okay, we gotta go to the. Whee! We gotta go back down the slide. Yay! I like the slide. So far there's not been any major jump scares either, apart from that one that I nearly crapped myself out with that weird lightning shadow monster. But you don't need monsters to make a game scary. I've always said that. I have always said that you don't need cheap jump scares to make a game disturbing. What you can come up with in your own mind is often far worse than what anyone else could give you. Well, let's see, where's this plank? There it is. Okay, make it this time. Good, good, off we go. We're gonna have to end this episode soon, but I'll get this last puzzle piece in first. It's been quite a long one, hasn't it? Here we go. Off we go. Saving! Right. Here we are. Okay. This place feels. Let's not dwell here for too long. Try not to, Teddy. Well, I'll just see just now. Thank you very much for watching, boys and girls. Don't forget to like, favour, and comment. I uh, hope you're looking forward to the next episode. Let me know what you think is going to be happening in this game. Anyway. Bye -bye.